unpacked with records, as you see. Now it's exciting. What? <laughs> this is nice. And it's from the tracks. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Torben Langborn from Stockholm, Sweden, and I wrote the compositions for this LP. My name is Dimitri from Paris. I've remixed Torbjorn Langborn, Feel Life. That was made in Stockholm in the 1985, and the group was the Feel Life Orchestra. It's a lot of different styles on it, but all the styles have these roots of Latin percussion and Latin music. I've been doing this for about 30 years now, starting in the mid to late 80s uh, by remixing records from other people and then DJing and also did quite a few compilations, mostly focusing on my favorite type of music, which is disco music from mostly the 70s. In the beginning it was called rock jazz, like uh, Bloods and Tears and Chicago and then with Earth, Wind and Fire. And there were always good musicians, good arrangements and it was funky music as well. It's, it's music that's not made in a computer. It's music that's made with a group of people uh, in a studio playing together, recording music. And the live acoustic element is, is very important. There's no, there's no computer trickery in there. I like this funky style, like George Duke was a very... I have a lot of his uh, vinyl records uh, in my in my flat, so I listen a lot to him, and this is a big influence for me. Disco is not a loop, it's, it's something that goes from the beginning till the end, it's growing, it fluctuates, you have high, lows, and I think that ultimately it's that human element that people are touched with, touched by. As my father was a fan of jazz music, I started to listen to that kind, and got to, um, back in the centuries before the 60s, and then I started to play jazz music and we played at parties. So when I started to meet this uh, Sweden-based Latin Americans like Sabo Martinez, and then I was hooked on salsa because this rhythm I, I didn't understand in the first place. So I had to listen and listen and listen. The more I played it, the more I realized it was into a lot of uh, American music. It was like a, foundation, it was a root. Feel Life was very much in, in a suite, you know, the changes, it starts in one way and there's a middle part. I have a more disco section at the beginning, then it was going into a tribal percussive thing, and then at the very end it was going to a pretty much classic salsa. And it was the way I thought it was nice to compose. I had this idea of putting together a mix of two bands I played with. One band was the Salsa. I had also a jazz world music conception of own compositions. And I then thought I can mix them, I can do my own fusion. So I wanted to, to get all the styles I liked in one album. And this could be a problem, but for me it was nice. The Latin Americans Percussion doesn't uh, usually be in all these styles, but I wanted to put them together in one style. When I got offered to remix uh, the Torbjorn track, uh, my first question was, do you have the parts? But what I call a remix is when you have the separate instruments the way they were recorded. And from then on, you can add some of your own instruments, or you can decide not to and rearrange what's there, but that is a proper remix when you have access to that. And my approach is always to keep the spirit of the original song because that's what made me go to do something with it. It is actually remixed from scratch from all the uh, different parts and uh, I only added a few uh, percussion elements to it, so very, very minor details are there and um, only a trained ear probably could just uh, detect what's been added from the original parts.
Ah, uh, this clavinet, yeah. Salsa clavinet. <laughs> and you worked on it, a lot of work behind this. We recorded it during, I think, three days or something. The funny thing is that I was doing so many things. So my brother thought I was hustling everybody because I was a director and I was a musician. I even made this pie for them to eat, cooking. I got really bad in my stomach afterwards because it was so pushy and I had to do it in a short time. I feel like it's an open appreciation of life and all its different changes. Take it another way, something tells you everything are real. It's like uh, there is a reality behind what we see as well. This uh, talks about that and the feeling, the emotions you get when you uh, get aware of this. So life can give you this feeling of uh, like you are in paradise, that you just get uh, very strong emotions. For me, I, I can, when you are record something, it gets its own life and you know the tunes that travel and you never know what's happening to them. It's like babies, children who grew up and sometimes some, <laughs> some know them and you don't know that, so they get their own life. It's very interesting. I like the idea. I wanted to keep all the elements of the song, uh, but making it slightly more contemporary in sound. My approach was to make this something that I could play as a DJ, making it slightly more DJ friendly and we, we will make it easier for DJ to play, to blend with other records. So that was the main goal. It's a lot of work to find this, I guess. Rewrite it in a way. way. It's very interesting to hear because it sounds more up uh, to date now. So it gets an other, it gets like a rebirth. <laughs> Yeah, it was a nice party yesterday, so I'm very glad that uh, all my friends came and uh, made their uh, musical uh, gift for me because uh, it was not uh, yesterday we met. We have met uh, so many years before and played together in different kind of constellations and uh, we still play together when gigs come around.